Hey there, it's Camille with Mercedes-Benz of Buckhead. Today I'm here with the 2013 GLK 350. The 2013 GLK has been redesigned with some beautiful aggressive lines that extend all the way from the front to the back of the vehicle along with the chrome trim and detailing. The lines are bold and aggressive but don't take away from the subtle elegance of the vehicle. You can also see here the five spoke wheels which comes standard on the GLK and the suspension is equipped with agility control to allow for a smooth ride whether you're in the city or taking in the sights in the country. The 2013 GLK has a powerful direct injection 3.5 liter V6 engine with 302 horsepower. It also comes equipped with a brand new eco start stop function. This means that when you get to a red light and put your foot on the brake, the engine will automatically shut down. When you're ready to go and you release your foot from the brake pedal, it automatically starts up. This really helps to save on fuel. On average, the GLK gets about 19 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway. The rear, as you can see, has some beautiful chrome detailing, which is um, accentuated on the exhaust pipes. We also have redesigned rear headlamps here, which are just gorgeous, especially at nighttime. And then we have on this particular GLK, the optional automatic lift gate, which is really, really convenient when you've got lots of groceries or you're trying to pile tons of kids into the car. Um, we also have a very spacious trunk that has up to 54 cubic feet of space when the rear seats are folded down. The interior of the 2013 GLK has been redesigned like the outside, so it has some very crisp, bold lines to give it an aggressive yet very elegant feel. This particular model has the wood trim, which is a gorgeous feature. Um, the standard is actually aluminum, but that this is an optional feature as an upgrade. We also have the beautiful redesigned air vents, which is just one of my favorite features of the GLK. They're designed to look like airplane propellers, and they're extremely easy to use since they swivel and they just give it an overall just very beautiful look and vintage vibe. Um, we also have here um, some storage where the gear shift would normally be in a lot of vehicles. The gear shift is actually up here at the steering wheel. Now at first this might be something to get used to, uh, but it actually allows you to have more control of the vehicle because your hands are at the steering wheel at all times even when shifting gears. It also has manual paddle shifters if you do want to switch to manual. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and is very, very soft. Um, we have the console here. And then this particular model also has heated seats, which I just love as an added feature, but again, that doesn't come standard. We also have the beautiful sunroof, which extends from front to back. And then we have Embrace 2 technology, which can be accessed with the push of a button here, which is an option. It comes on all Mercedes, but it is something you need to activate. Um, so you'll need to ask your sales representative about that one, or go to the link below for more information. Um, we also have attention assist on this vehicle, which means that if the GLK notices that you're starting to get drowsy, if you start swerving on the road, it'll actually alert you by vibrating the steering wheel and giving um, an audible alert so that you know to wake up and pay attention while you're driving. The back seat of the GLK is very spacious and has a lot of family-friendly features, including the middle console. You see, it pulls down here to create a comfortable armrest but then as you see, when you pull this up, we actually also have some storage space in here. Not only that, but you press a button and you have cup holders that are convenient for each passenger in the back seat. Then you can put this down and have a comfortable armrest with your cup holders. We also have places to attach a child's car seat on both sides. Um, and because it's a little lower to the ground than a GL or an ML, it's a lot easier for access for children and maybe relatives or family or friends that have a more difficult time getting up into a higher vehicle. Well, thanks for joining me for the review of the 2013 GLK 350. Again, I'm Camille with Mercedes-Benz of Buckhead. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below or on our Facebook page at mercedesofbuckhead.com or feel free to visit us at www.mercedesofbuckhead.com. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see y'all next time. Ciao.